Welcome back to Yarnspirations as well as the crochetcrowd.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the crocodile stitch uh, border. This is really quite a fabulous border. Very very heavy in texture. Anybody that likes crocodile stitch this really is quite amazing. Anybody that knows about crocodile stitch knows that it is, it is a bit of a yarn pig. It does take extra yarn in order to get all these layers because you can see it's so deep and etc. So what we do to do this is that you could just have a regular granny square. It can also be um, a rectangle granny square but a granny square for sure and we're going to create what I call the mesh in the pattern. So if you're reading the pattern you'll see that there's this pink and this is the mesh. Everything of the mesh has been done first and then we came back and I did the layers of the crocodile stitch afterward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create the mesh and then I'm gonna show you how to do um, these ideas of the crocodile stitch and then from there you can do anything that you want to as far as this border is concerned. So let's begin. So let's begin by creating this mesh. We're gonna do the entire mesh first and then we're going to come back and do all this. So we're gonna do all layers of mesh. So you can see that when you look at it here from a corner perspective is that there was two layers of crocodile stitches worked in the same corner and then it kind of splits off and then it kind of comes back. So we want to create this uh, mesh idea in order to make it work. So you can use the same color. The, this mesh is kind of hard to see once you get beyond a certain color but if you're one that likes to drape things you will see that color. So you want to be consider, uh, want to consider your mesh when you're going to do so. So let's uh, begin to do our first corner. I'm going to use the same color to create the mesh in order to be consistent and what I'm gonna do is go right into a corner space. So to do the mesh I'm just gonna go right into the corner and I'm gonna join it with a slip stitch and I'm gonna chain three okay and it's one, two and three and I'm gonna come back into the same space and I'm gonna do a double crochet. So this is going to hold one complete scale of the crocodile stitch. So what I'm gonna do is shift it down and I'm going to chain three and this, this will be the first corner. So one, two and three and coming back into that same space I want to double crochet two times. So this is the other scale that is in the corner. Okay so just visualize it here that this is what you're gonna be working with. So in order to move across what we have to do is that we have to jump all these three. In order to jump all these three we're just going to chain two and we jump to the next chain one space and we put in two double crochets. So there is the next crocodile stitch scale that you're gonna have. And you're just gonna continue to do that along the side of the edge. So it'll be chain two, two uh, doubles into there and let it be. So as you do that you're eventually gonna hit the corner so you'll chain two, hit the corner. So you'll do the first one okay so there'll be two double crochets. We have to turn the corner so it'll be chain three and coming back into the same space you're going to put in two more double crochets. So that is your two crocodile stitch in the corners. Okay. So now you're going to begin again along the side. So it's chain two. Next chain one space we'll have two double crochets. There's another crocodile stitch just waiting to happen right there and then you continue along like that. So chain two, next space, uh, two double crochets and so on and eventually you hit the next corner again. So chain two, next corner like it was before. So two doubles. Okay, chain two or sorry chain three it's a corner and then coming back in for two doubles. So do that all the way around. Let's see at the next part of this round. So continuing along I'm coming all the way back to where I had started so I chain two and I join it to the top of the top of the beginning chain three. So now what we want to do is that we want to get ourselves to this chain three space right here. So in order to do that we have to slip stitch over and we're gonna create another round of it. So we're gonna slip stitch over so twice and now you're going to continue to create more mesh based on what you already see. But this mesh is gonna be slightly different. So this one here if you notice that the crocodile stitches follow each other as they go all the way up. So one, two and three. See that? So they're gonna be maintaining. So the next time we do the mesh we want to split in between the two double crochets that were already there. So that's what we have to watch for on this round. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet and double crochet back into the same space. And now we're gonna turn the corner. So chain three, one, two, three and coming back into the same space. Okay, so that's gonna happen every time you have, have a corner. 
So now what we have to do is that we have to work our way to this next space. So we have to go into in and split these because these are where the, um, the scales are gonna sit. So we immediately come into the first one, okay, and we're going to put in two double crochets right in between these two doubles. So next time you'll have scales here, here, and here, and then you just continue along like you already see. So chain two and just split the next two double crochets in the row around below and put in two double crochets into the split. And you'll do that all the way across. So chain two and then split the next uh, two and continue right to the corner. So as you make your way to the corner, okay, you're going to um, split that first one before starting that corner. So split it with two double crochets, okay, and then without any doing any double crochet or chains at all, we come into this next space. So we're gonna put in two double crochets, so one, and two, we're gonna turn the corner, chain three, and coming in for two more double crochets. So we just physically turn that corner in the mesh. So here's the next one. See how close it is? That's why we're not doing any chain twos right after this. So we split the next one and we start off with two right into the split, chain two, okay, and then split the next two and continue that all the way down that edge. And then that's how you continue all the way around. So chain two, okay, split the next one. And as soon as you get next to the corner, therefore you just jump right to a corner. So don't chain two after that. Go right into the chain three space and put in two double crochets. Okay, chain three and two double crochets. So continue to do that same idea going all the way around and I think you'll have a lot of success. So split this one first, don't, so don't chain two, split, chain two, split, chain two and make sure you put your two double crochets when you go to split them. So as I got all the way back around I just finished off and I went into the final split and then I just immediately just joined it to the top of the first chain three. So to start the final round it's round number three of doing the mesh. You just have to slip stitch to the chain three space and then you begin all over again. It's the same looking mesh in the corner. So let's just get you started. So it's gonna chain three and then double crochet. So there is a scale right there and now you're gonna turn the corner. So chain three and then coming back in two more double crochets into that same space. So you're just gonna work your way across okay but we're gonna do something slightly different here okay. So the next one here we're gonna split the first one with two double crochets just like you see and then what we're going to do then is that we're going to chain two and then sp split the next one. Okay so you just keep on working away around on the mesh so chain two and just keep on going across. So it's only the corners that kind of gets really kind of complicated when you think about it. So now you keep on going so chain two you go into this one you split it Okay, then you chain two and then go into the next one here, split it, two double crochets, that, that's what I mean by that and now you go immediately into the corner. So the corner remembers are two double crochet, chain three and two double crochet. So then you just continue to um, go across. So let's just review that one more time. So the first one you're gonna go right here just like that and then chain two and then split the next one. So continue to do that all the way around. So coming up I'm gonna split that final one here and remember I've already started in the corner so that's just a matter of just joining it then to the beginning. Chain three. So the mesh is done. So now I have the mesh growing up so one, two, and three and now that's all ready and now it's time to lay the crocodile stitch on top. Now the way that I designed this is that it's gonna be so simple I only have to show you a little bit because the reality is once you, once you do it you do it. It's pretty easy. So we're gonna just fasten this off, do a nice job of that and then what I want to do then is you wanna grab your complementary colors that you would like to do to do your um, crocodile stitching that's gonna go on top of this mesh. 
So working on the crocodile stitching at this point is a matter of just filling in the mesh. So I've done a Christmas tree like this. This is really quite simple. So what we have is that every one of the splits is uh, a scale. Okay so you see how it comes down that's a scale. So every one of these is a scale. So the nice thing about it is that the way that I designed it is just you just follow it around and it, it takes you right back to where you started. So with normally with crochet then is that we, we usually start at the top and we kind of work our way around but with doing scale work what happens is that we're going to focus on the actual post come down and then back up. So we're actually going to start at the bottom of the project and work our way around. You can start anywhere that you want and uh, you can see kind of um, where I joined it here when I went to go do it. So it's actually uh, not a bad idea. So let me show you how to start and once you see this concept you can do the whole thing basically on your own. So to start the scale what happens is that you're going to work on a post and the post needs to be upside down. So I'm going to start here. Usually I would start on the top. So what I want to do is create a slip knot and I want to work where it's going to split. So I'm going to work on the interior first. Okay so you got a scale here, here, anywhere where they're together is, is going to be uh, one scale. So you can start anywhere that you want but you have to start on this side in order to do it. So let's uh, begin. We're going to go into a side post. Okay so just into the side post of that round and you're going to attach with a slip stitch like this and you're going to chain three. So that counts as a double crochet. So one, two, three. Continuing in that same post, okay, you're going to do four more double crochets. Okay, so around that post. So one, two, three, and four. Once you get four, see it's going down that post. You see that? So then you have to chain one so it can do that bend of the scale and then you just turn it and go into the right into the friend and right next door. So come right across and just wrapping it and going into the post from the other side. Okay so do you see it? So you're just going to come into the post from the other side and you're going to do five double crochets going up. So one, two, three, four and five. So every scale on this has five double crochets going down, okay, chain one and five double crochets going up the other one. So let's move along. So you're going to move over to here which is your next one and you immediately just go there. So just wrapping the hook and going into the side of the first post and you're going to double crochet five times. So one and you're just working your way down that post. And you're going to put in your five so that I'm on number three. And this is five. Chain one, turn your work and here's the other one. Okay so you're going to go up the other one. So you go down one, up the other and so you're going to go up five. Okay this is three, four and five. So then coming up, okay, so see how it's going to turn the corner? We're not going to do anything fancy. So we're just going to maintain exactly what you see. So just coming up, going into the next one and go five down. So one, two, three, four and five. Chain one, turn it going into its friend. See why everything was in groups of two? So now when you were splitting it, do you see why you were splitting it? Because you're splitting the middle of the scale and you're keeping those scales aligned. So I'm actually right on a corner right now and I'm gonna literally turn the corner without having to think twice about it. So I just immediately jump to the next one. See how I've got there? I'm turning a corner. So to turn a corner there's nothing fancy. Nothing at all. Just follow it around the corner and immediately go into the next one. So you didn't see me chain anything. I didn't do anything. I just following it around. And that's all you have to do for all of the rounds of the three that you had seen here. Is that you just follow each one around like so. So down, chain one, turn it and go into the other one. Just like that. 
So now I'm coming up. And so once you get all the way around then you fasten off if you wanna keep the same color then going just rejoin it again on the next layer. So you can see I've started and I'm now coming around and I'm just gonna follow that as I go and then I'm gonna join it to the beginning. So I'll do that last one here, the split. I would join it and, and uh, with a slip stitch fasten off, get rid of it and then the next one I will just start off in the, in the next one here. So go down one, up the other, down one, up the other and continue along. So when you're looking at it from a, a perspective like this you can see I just followed it around and then the next one just came around and then so forth just like that and it looks really quite amazing when you do it like that. So this is how you would do the crocodile stitch border. It looks amazing and you can see on the other side see all that's happening just like it was on the other one. Till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.